so what with the fact that um, my soap video was quite a short one, um, I filmed a second video for you today. I'm filming a second video for you today. Um, where I'm going to use a 3D pen. <gasps> oh, like, I have wanted to use one of these since I was like... God, when did they first, like, bring them out? I think I was in secondary school. So I've been, like, 16? I was in sixth form, but I've been 17. Either way, for as long as I can remember, literally as soon as they first ever released an ad for one of these things, I have wanted to use one so bad. <laughs> so, now I've got one. It's, um, it's not one of the, like, top brands or anything, because... They ain't cheap. They are like, like <laughs> expensive. And I'm from Yorkshire. We don't do expensive. No, no. <laughs> um, so it's literally it's um what is it actually called? Just just three D pen two. That's all it's called. Um, got it from eBay. I almost said Amazon, but it was eBay. I uh, got it from eBay. I think it was about 16, 18 pounds, somewhere along that line. So, yeah, it's um, it's a pretty good kit. Um, I just realized, left that in there. You get, um, oh. That looks a lot better. So, just yeah, bob the box to one side it down there. I'll pick it up in a minute. Um, oh, I know what that's from. So you got a little instructions manual and mine is a little bit crumpled. So that blah, 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 blah. So it tells you like how to work it and stuff. So like got up here is where you stick this. There we go. Which turns on. Um, then you've got e, that little bit there, that's where you've put your filament, I think that's what it's called, yeah, filament, in, then you've got temperature adjustment here and here. power indicator there on an LCD screen so right yeah this little slidey bit here controls the speed so at the moment it's on slow but if you I can't do this one-handed slide it up like that it um, pumps it out faster then you press this button to load it so you pop your filament in and it go and this button when you finished with your project you can press it and it unloads the filament and you can take it out Whoop. obviously it comes with a stand and a power cord mine did not come with a power adapter like a, a usb plug at least i don't think it did i haven't seen it um, so I've just used one of my own, but yeah, they're USB, so you can easily plug it into any USB plug adapter. They're not hard to come by. Um, oh, and on the bottom of the diagram, integrated heating nozzle, right there. So, pop that there. Um, other than that, there's not really much more to it. Bit of a diagram um oh well, this is um this is actually a good little thing for me to have noticed in time thankfully so Which one did I use? I did like a test run and I used ah 
It's this one. This one. This one. This one. So I've did a test run uh, because um, what with it being electrical and melty and whatnot, I just wanted to try and figure out the dangers I may face. There aren't any, to be fair. <laughs> but I just wanted to be shot. So when I unloaded it, it's left the. Let me get it close to the camera. Focus. It's not gonna focus. Well, as you can see, it's a. It kind of looks like it's been chewed on the end. But it says on this diagram that the end has to look. Da 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 da. Like that nice flat smooth and round so before i use this one i i think i'm gonna have to like get a pair of scissors and give it a snip just to make it a flat edge so i've learned something new about my 3d pen that my run through did not teach me so as i said i gave it a go and I have watched some other videos on 3D um, pen art and stuff, because it's best to prepare. <sighs> and they've managed to do, like, where they just do it on paper and then peel it off and it's great. I don't know whether maybe I should have left it to cool a little longer. I mean, it felt pretty cool, so, yeah. But the paper got stuck. Now, luckily, with this little guy, I'm sticking it to... Excuse me. Do you mind? I'm sticking it to something, so it's not too big of a deal that it's got a, <laughs> a little bit of paper on the back. So, made myself a god symbol. The horned god symbol. Obviously, as you can possibly see, there's, like, holes that you can see through it. But I'm thinking about maybe sticking it on a piece of, like, felt. So those holes won't matter too much. Also, I do know, and I have seen... Yeah, nothing that makes sense. Uh, on other videos on YouTube that you can get, like, this cool, funky little... It's almost like a little teeny tiny iron. And you can smooth out your designs so that they're... Don't have these holes of the lumpy texture. Although I don't know, I kind of like the lumpy texture. But yeah, so there are ways to seamless designs. I mean, you could arguably get some grease paper and very carefully. I'm talking carefully because if you press press down, it's just gonna go. <laughs> but you could probably maybe carefully iron <laughs> and see what it does. I'm not going to because I don't have an iron probably should get one but I've never really needed one to be fair I want to do like transfers and stuff so I'm probably gonna to have to get one but yeah so this was what I made earlier in blue peter fashion so and I literally use the same template as I'm gonna be using for the one the other one that I'm gonna be doing only I didn't use only I didn't use the third moon so I've got my haunt god I'm going to be making a triple goddess symbol with my white filament. So I already, do you mind a piece of paper, sketched out on my phone a new symbol because as you can see the old one was decimated when I've removed that one. So I'm going to try using a plastic uh, sheet over the top of it and see how that goes. I'm hoping that the filament won't melt through it. To be fair, it's, it's hot, but it's not too hot. Like you can literally sort of, it's, it's not like touching a glue gun, which sticks to your finger and melts off your identity, which I have done in the past. It hurts. It's just sticking somewhere. Oh, a little bit of glue zoozed out. 
thinking, like, assuming I have asbestos fingers, wiped it and gone, <gasps> so, yes, don't touch hot glue from a hot glue gun, not advised, whereas this, you can actually sort of press stuff down, it's n hot enough that it melts, but not hot enough that it's gonna burn you, so, okay, um, this bit I'm going to do close up for you so that you can like see it but um when I say this bit I mean like the bit where I'm actually doing the drawing I'm going to load it up on here so that you can see me do it I'm just going to put a few to one side so first things first I need to release the filament I probably should have pre-released this filament but I didn't think too excited to get going. That is not a scratch post. I swear. Right. Mm, this is right. There we go. I'm gonna make sure that it's gonna not get tangled as it goes around. I mean, it shouldn't get tangled, but Moggy, get down. You are not joining me in this video. It's very hot. Well, not very hot, but there's hot proceedings going on. Mm, burn. Right, so, what you do, you get your 3D pen. Now, <laughs> I had difficulty with this last time. Because apparently I'm just not, like, dexterous. I'm gonna lower the temperature a little bit. Is 160? Wow, well, it's on. Eh. Ah. So 160 is as low as it goes. I'm not gonna find out how high it goes because, no, my look, it will explode. Probably not. But still. Um, right. Just gotta wait for it to heat. I completely forgot that it has a preheat sign. I thought it would have been done by now, but apparently not. Okay, I think, are we good to go? Right, one, two, aha, there we go. So we're now good to go. So I'm just gonna, is this not, idiot, it's not even in it properly. There we go, now it's in. Just gonna run a little bit through because obviously I've still got probably a little bit of filament left in. It's going to take some time. Aha! There we go. So I'm just going to bleed it out until it turns white. Like properly white, because at the moment it's kind of looking caramacky. Okay, there we go. And then I'm going to pop that in my stand. So, ugh! don't you dare. Don't you dare, don't you dare, don't you dare. There we go. So, oh. Oh, I see you peeled off, okay. Mm. <laughs> so, oh, still not. So yeah, just uh, had to bleed off the sort of goldy brown colour that I used to do the horned god sigil. So, I bled it out to the white, as you can see. So, right, it's time for our close-up. Okay, so this is the close-up shot of me, ow, my knees, <laughs> doing the uh, 3D pen art. So, oh, I've got a little bit there, that's so good. Oh, okay, here goes. I'm going to do the outline first, so I'm going to start with this one first. What speed are we at? Oh, gosh, we're at really high speed, so just turn it down a little bit. Oops. It's not working with me. Oh, I need to wait till it gets 150. Because it's 
mystery here again. There we go. We're on green. Okay. Oh, don't be moving. Don't be moving. So we're good to go. Let's see. I won't lie to you, I have not got the steadiest of hands. For example, this crescent moon is going to suck. Ah, no, don't you dare come up yet. <laughs> not yet. Okay, then move on to the full moon. Oh. I'll remove all these stringy bits at the end. Arguably, you know what? I'm feeling quite confident about this. I think this might be a try that has success and not failure. Written. Get off. No. Uh, excuse me. Oh, God. You know what? I shouldn't have opened my mouth. I said success and karma came back to kick me in the butt and said no failure okay so it's not looking too bad now i'm gonna try and fill it in so i'm gonna put it right in this corner and then fill it in I'm gonna speed it up because I am definitely considering um, investing in greaseproof paper because I feel like that's an in-between between paper and this. This seemingly my design wants to jump off it which you know is great it means I'll just get that a little press down because I can. It means like it's gonna. Actually, I don't need my thing in there. It's gonna come off with ease, but it also doesn't do much for me in terms of like trying to keep the design in place, which is kind of annoying actually. So, there we go, give it squeaky. Then I'm gonna press it down with my finger. Now, if you don't feel comfortable with the idea of burning off your fingerprints, that's fine. I have a bank job later, so I'm not worried. Just kidding. I don't really. My my criminal enterprises never got further than conning my brother and his friends out of money. As a kid, I used to get them to buy flowers I picked from the garden for the girlfriends. It was the easiest scam I've ever played in my life. <laughs> They're gonna watch this and be like, ah, oh, that's what it was, was it? Probably get a call from, you owe me like 70 pounds. Oh, actually, you know, this technique is a lot better. I'm just sort of, I don't know how to describe this technique. But I'm just sort of like making little circles in one spot and then I'm gonna press it down. Oh you see that looks more so much more neat. That's not a word. That looks neater. Speak English, Chloe. So I'm gonna do the next moon because this is gonna take a while. Ah uh, no no you know what? Just leave the strands Chloe. Stop being a perfectionist, Jesus. Right. I'm gonna start by reconnecting that. And then I'm going to hold it down via the full moon and work some filly magic. Re stick that down to the. Oh, well, what do you know? I, I picked it up instead of stuck it down. Oh, God, useless. Right. Would you just. 
Actually, now that I've got a bear in there, I can hold it in place. Yeah, definitely going to advise people that you buy greaseproof paper rather than using plastic or normal paper. Normal paper did not work for me. I ripped the paper off with the design, so. Remember your technique. Just do your little circles, Chloe. I might actually, to save my fingerprints, uh, invest in one of those um, silicone oh, face brushes. Like for masks. And press on them that way because yeah probably advisable not to burn your fingerprints off I mean how will they identify me just getting some of these bigger excuse me bigger um, areas of foliage Oh, why are you not as neat as the other one? <laughs> I may have to redo this one again. So, just to point out, I have had some success because this one looks okay. I'm going to do a perimeter sweep. Just sort of stick it back down to the plastic because it's arguably coming off it so easy. So I want my design to be able to be removed but like not prematurely. Right, there we go. Hopefully it's stuck. Space clipper. The rotor kind of sounds like those really old, like, Halloween toys you got in, like, the late 90s, early noughties that made the eerie sounds, like the ooh. It just, it just sounds like one of them to me. You had a Halloween toy that sounded just like this. Right now I'm going to fill in the gaps. I don't know what I've done. <laughs> this just has not turned out oh, quite as neat as my other one. I'm a bit good about that.
It is really cool that you can like stop it to move it so that you like don't drag all over. I'm gonna have to buy some more, more white filament after this because I don't think I'm gonna have any left by the end of this. <laughs> the way I hold the pen just because there is a bit of the design that's lumpy and not allowing my pen to sit right. Do -do -do. Fill in some of the <coughs> larger holes that I can see. And yeah, you can move around now if you want. Which would have appreciated it if you hadn't moved around while I was trying to make you. Okay. Let me just have a little. So, do I have any scissors? Do I need scissors? Okay, so let's pull off some of this stringy stuff. Because I'm not sure where I put my scissors. I know I bought them, but I don't know where I put them. Eh. This one's proving to be a little bit difficult. Let's see if I can stick it down. That. There we go. I stuck it down. Okay. There we go. No, hang on. I don't like that. See, this is where my like perfectionist side comes out. Even though actually there's, like I said, without that little iron tool, no way of really making this perfect. Just pinch that. There we go. So there we go. We've got Pond God and the Triple Goddess. So so yeah, that was uh, <clears throat> a little bit of a chore. So I had mishaps on both attempts. Obviously, you guys didn't see this one. So this one ended in ripped paper. Whereas this one didn't. And uh, I had nothing on the back. So you know what? I might <laughs> actually stick it down back to front. Because the back to front one looks... Like the back side looks so much neater. I don't know. I'll, I'll see. <laughs> okay, so. <clears throat> I think the troubles I encountered with this one was probably this plastic and the fact that this stuff like releases from it way too easy. So I'm thinking of investing in some grease proof paper. Um, and seeing how that works, seeing if that adheres but comes away better than paper or this. 
but either way, I don't think, to be fair, it went too badly. I mean, yeah, they're not exactly the neatest things in the world. This one is also arguably neater. I think it's because, obviously, I didn't want to get too in the way and block what you guys could see. So, arguably, when I did this one, I was like, this close. Like, really in there. So, I could probably get a bit better detail on it. So, and also this one did not move around while I was trying to make it. But, I think they're kind of cute. I'm probably going to like, maybe glue them to um, some felt. I don't know about using hot glue on them though, because I don't want them to melt. So, I'll probably use like, I've got some E6000, so I'll probably stick them to the felt with that. Oh, bit of a hole there. You might do it. You can't see it, so that's fine. And I bet if I was to put some white felt behind it, no one would be able to. Even up close. Um, so yeah. Um, probably gonna, like I said, stick them to some felt. Stick this guy to some, like, brownie, caramelly felt. I think I've got some of that colour. And, um, I'll stick this to, uh, some white felt, which I do have as well, so. Hopefully in videos to come you'll see these either stuck to something or hanging from something. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with them. But yeah, I made some little 3D panoplyks as it were. Which kind of goes with my uh, laptop bag which has a uh, triple goddess crochet applique. Um, I think it's, is it a plique? Is it a plique or a plique? No one knows. Um, so, if you do know, pop a comment let me know. I sometimes mispronounce things and I like to try and pronounce things correctly as I, as and where I can. I do struggle. Um, but yeah, I have a crochet triple goddess symbol on my laptop bag, which I have a video for. It's in my other playlist, which I did last year. So... I'm hoping after this playlist to be a little bit more proactive um, and trying to release videos on a weekly basis but as it stands at the moment releasing mega like playlists like loads of videos at once is working out a little bit better based on my schedule and what I have to do because I've got college Caring and responsibilities, acting responsibilities. It's, it's fun. <laughs> I'm stretched every which way. But yeah, so. Hope you liked it. Hope you enjoyed my video. Um, probably already been said once in this, but like, subscribe, comment, share. Um, and uh, yeah. Bye. Hi guys, thank you for watching this video. It's been part of my I Try series where I try new things I've never done and hopefully succeed in creating some wonderful things. If you've enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe and share. If you would like to support my videos, I have a PayPal tip jar linked below. Please donate as you feel and as I become more confident and able to offer giveaways, special content, etc. I intend to create a Patreon so I can hopefully keep my vids ad-free. Love you guys. Bye.